Greetings one and all, how's everyone doing? I hope really okay, well. So I'm about to go over what's the contents of this pack in this video. And I already shot that video. Hidden Woodsman, Day Rock, Sally, no longer med. I just wanted to throw in there because I was thinking about it as I was walking out and I, I put this together for today. I didn't, I don't have a set. I have to take this, this, and this. I mean, there are some things I always carry and there's some things I just don't bother carrying. So, this is for today. This is not something that I carry every time or on every single outing. Now, some of this, a lot of the stuff I have in this pack is stuff I use all the time because you know, I don't buy gear just to go, hey, look at this item and, and you'll never see it again. I always carry, like, I've been carrying this knife consistently in several videos because it's my food prep knife. And actually, this is the first time I pulled it out since I started, so, and I'm almost done with the hike, so. Cooked a little lunch, did a little hike. So, yeah, so specific for today. So if you're looking at the comments, like, hey, how come you don't have this and this and this? Well, that's why, because it's, it's for the day, not for anything else. So, just want to throw it in there and enjoy Man, the Man, I tell you, this freaking place, it's like literally, I was over on the other trail, and I thought, hey, it looks like there's some nice flat spots over here. Maybe I can kind of tuck in there and maybe do a video. And it just takes you right back to the trail. It's not a very big place, but it's, it's very windy, I think. This will wind all the way around back to where I was, so it's kind of pointless to go back. Although, I may have missed a, I may have missed a crossroads though, too. See, stuff like this, it's like, if I cross through here, I bet you I'd end up at a trail. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. I'll just show you what I mean. Looks like someone's already walked through here too. You can tell how pushed down it is. That is exactly what happened. I literally just cut straight through. It's kind of how we found Gnome Camp originally. We just started cutting through, thinking, hey, that spot over there looks nice and flat. And we get there, and it's like, oh, hey, there's a trail right here. So. Maybe I'll end up back at Nome. I don't know though. Let's see. This is just winding back around, so. I don't know why people are cutting through there. You can't actually see the trail from the side though. So, it's all good. Good times. Feel a little bit of sweat going, so that's the whole intended purpose. Get out and burn a couple calories. Just to replace it with what I'm, if I end up doing some cooking. So, it's a pretty nice trail though, really. Might go do the other side next time.
Well, that kind of sucks. I literally just looped around the same place I just cut through. <sighs> kind of one of the things I hate about this trail, it tends to loop back on itself a lot, especially when you cut through. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Go back, I guess. And... Try a diff different angle. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny, just. Should be called the Deja Vu Trail. Like, wasn't I just here? But yeah, I was just here. That's the same trail I was on before. This looks like it cuts in. But you want know what's what's right there? Trail. Okay, well, yeah, literally, because it sweeps around. I could have just cut through and saved some time. <sighs> Captain, we have gnomes here. So, yeah, found gnome camp with the mailbox. Looks like the army man's back, too. He wasn't here last time. Rock on. Well, let's check the mailbox while we're here. We get some fruit snacks. My business cards are still here. So I'm gonna move them up to the front. And I'm gonna leave the fruit snacks. There we go. I think next time I come out, I'm gonna bring something with me and drop it off. I guess I'll go into the all too familiar camp. A lot of you are probably wondering what I always bring with me, gear-wise. So of course I got my Cabela's three stool, or three leg stool. I have a, those blue coffee mugs. So I'm gonna do some, uh, I'm gonna do a brew. That out of the way. DC. Hidden Woodsman Day Rock. Sadly, no longer made, but I did see a link where someone had set one on eBay, so you could check around for them. Now, I'm not uh, prepared to spend a night, I don't have gear to do so. Just so you know, I have a, just a ferro rod and a lighter, and that's it. Camera batteries, so the filming can continue. In this front zip pouch, I have a bandana. Some tissues, because I'm always blowing my nose. And I have a a Bridgeford cinnamon bun, which I'm gonna eat with my coffee. I have a rain poncho in case things get wet, although I could use this as a shelter if I had to. My Hidden Woodsman prototype Possible's pouch, which I have some toilet paper in case things get messy. My titanium spark, a knife, Winger blade, still unused. Hidden Woodsman signal panel, 
My Mora Black with ferro rod. Great knife. And a very large bandana. Like one of those really big ones. Oh, and I had a little pepper thing in here. Forgot that was in there. It probably fell out when I was doing my last vid. Keep everything conveniently just stored inside here. Okay. A pair of gloves. Just, I didn't plan, I'm not making a fire, but I brought gloves anyway. Some ramen. Some fuel for my stove. Nalgene full of water. What's in here? Oh. I threw a trash bag in because I wasn't sure if the ground was going to be wet. So theoretically, I could do shelter, but I would be pretty miserable, I think. Although I guess it's about making it through and not necessarily about being comfortable, I guess. Maybe in one cold night. And then I have this. This is a steak bag. I saw in the real 111 Tees video. $1.99 for this bag. So I bought two of them, because you know, at that price, why not? And it was like $3 for shipping. So in here I have my, my lunch, which is gonna be soup. And I have some hot chocolate and some coffee with a little bit of sweetener. And if I work it out of here, I'll put the link for the uh, tent steak bag down in the description. I just found this really nice way of carrying my Snow Peak Kettle 1. So this is a bag. I mean, that's my big, I have large hands, so let's see. Size comparison. My little drawstring on the top. And I got a couple creamers for my coffee. My Trangia stove. And then my $1.49 stove stand, which I've shown on video before. Sits inside the Snow Peak kettle. Just perfectly. So now I do is I just drop in the fuel, the thing, pop those in, and then the whole thing I just stuff inside the bag, which can be a little tedious because it does fit. It's just uh, it's a tight squeeze. You saw how easy it popped out, but to go in, it's you kind of have to work it in there. But I like keeping everything in bags. It keeps the lid on. It keeps the handles from flopping around. I can throw in things like I threw my soup mix on top. Let's see if I can get this one in for you so you can see it. There you go. You can just lower it right down inside. And I just tuck the handle down. And I could just throw it in my coffee on top, just flat, see if you can sell just like that. Hell, I, I could have tossed the ramen in there on top. Now I probably could even throw in the sandwich in there too, just, you know, push it down in flat, and I just cinch up the bag, push out the air. I just do a simple little, I just wrap it around once. And I just push it through, cinch it, and then that's it. Just a simple little knot, but it keeps everything nice and contained. And all I gotta do is just drop it down inside my pack, along with my water. And then my, my poncho, which I actually would keep on top. So slide that down the side. Pop in the gloves. Fuel. 
poncho on top. So I'd want to be able to reach that first. And I just shut her on up. And there you go. Simple, easy, hidden woodsman. Oh, that's some garbage I left behind in my last outing. Shameful of me. I will have to pack that out of here. So, that is today's loadout. Pretty simple, nothing too complicated. So, 